Hi, this is Jeff Brown with Griot's Garage, here to tell you about the best of show system buffing pads. They're specifically engineered for the boss. Let's tell you a little bit about what makes them special and why you want to use them. We've got five different pads. Uh, really what makes them most unique is, is a lot of different things. In fact, one is the, the thickness. Much like a tire uh, translates the energy to the road, this is a low profile tire if it were. It's, it basically takes that power, that 900 watts, and translates it to the paint. You've got eight millimeter thickness. It's the thinnest pad on the market. Essentially, like, what does that mean? Uh, you, you have this torque that's, that's working the surface. And if you, if you choose to select a one inch pad, what you'll find is that that's a, it's a lot of foam. It essentially absorbs the energy. It's like, energy. It's like a shock absorber. And so it tends to slow pad rotation down. It can also raise the center of gravity of your tool. So it tends to be a little bit more topsy-turvy. The benefit to the boss pads, the low profile, keeps you really in control of the pad. It translates that torque in a real efficient manner, which equates to rotation, which drives pad uh, or paint, paint correction. So uh, those are some key benefits to that. The other one is it's less foam. So if you look at this pad, or let's, let's take a look at the orange correcting pad and compare it to its sister one inch pad in our, one of our other product lines or product offerings, this is a 41% increase from this to this in terms of weight. And when you have a long throw orbital, an orbit going from 15 to 21 mils back and forth, imagine that's 41% more weight that you're having to control with your, your counterbalance that's built into the tool. So what does that translate to when you get into a low profile, lower weight pad, smoother performance, less vibration. And when you're working with a, a long throw orbital all day, that's what you want is something that's smooth and comfortable. So eight millimeter pad thickness. You'll also know that the unique uh, side profile, it's what we call our chamfered edge. And the benefit to that is when you're working a, a, a panel like this where you've got an adjacent hard body line, it's important that you have a, a little bit of a buffer there between your backing plate and your pad. Uh, so that's a benefit to the chamfered edge. It also expands your surface area, which increases your productivity. Uh, this pad, if we just went straight down, it'd probably be a, roughly a six inch, just over a six inch pad. So you increase your productivity. Uh, all of our pads, uh, the foam, if uh, it, we've got uh, basically four foams. These are all what we would refer to as reticulated foam. And that just means they, uh, when the pads are produced, they're actually what we call closed cell foam. And they, I don't want to get too technical, but they throw it in this chamber and light off an explosion. It actually blows out the inner cells of the foam. And that turns it into what you may have heard as a re, um, reticulated foam or open cell. The benefit to that is the pad actually is more resilient. If you, if you hit moldings and emblems, you'll actually see that it's more elastic. So it's less prone to tearing, so it lasts longer. But where it really, really impacts the long throw orbital performance, this, these long throw orbitals can exhibit anywhere from or create 120 up to 200 degrees temperature because of that violent back, I shouldn't say violent, but that really elongated throw generates that heat that can deteriorate the foam. So reticulated open cell not only makes it, the foam more durable, but allows the air to flow through, which cools it. So that's another benefit. Uh, there's a lot of different pads on the market, let's face it. There's a ton of them. Uh, one thing that I will guarantee you uh, that our pads will not do is delaminate. Uh, this Velcro, what we would refer to as the hook, is laminated to the foam. And some people use literally hot melt glue, same stuff your, your mom may use to build crafts. What, what does that do when it gets hot? It's hot melt glue. It melts. So this is what we call a thermoset bond. And it's two part, basically almost like an epoxy. And it becomes one. So this, this Velcro or hook, as we would refer to, is not going to delaminate. Pads are going to last a long time. They're machine washable, so it makes it a little easier to maintain. And uh, another one is that the, the loop on this 
this pad is perfectly matched to what we would refer to as the Velcro. It's a Velcro branded micro hook. Super important. You want to look at your backing plates and one thing that uh, you'll all appreciate is when your pads stay on your backing plate. Uh, it's, it's an engagement that's manageable. It's not going to fly off by any means, but it's not one where you have to like work hard to, to, de to, you know, to remove the pad. This engagement is like a, it's like a dance. It's super, super important. There's some plates on the market that utilize, it's a less expensive approach. Take a look at your, your tools and if you see this J hook uh, on long throw orbitals, you're gonna, you're gonna find that this is a, it's, a, it's like an aggressive hook that not only engages that, that hook, the loop very effectively to the point where you can hardly pull the pad off that hook generates this incredible amount of friction. It's like taking 36 grit to this, this 300. It just, just bites in. What that means is that it creates an excessive amount of heat. And heat is, is the enemy of a buffing pad. It's the enemy of the paint. So we're taking a look at the Boss Interflex pad. A couple benefits to this. You take a look at this panel. We've got a nice sweeping fender here. That contour, uh, if, you, if you choose just to use the pad alone, uh, the boss pads, they're being thin, they're going to conform, have a little less ability to conform. You throw the Interflex pad on and it's, it's just going to adapt to virtually any, con any contour out there. One other thing that this little secret that the Interflex does is it, I guess for lack of a better term, it detunes your pad. So for, for it basically uh, doubles your, your options, uh, makes the pad just a hair less aggressive. So if you're working with a finish and it's just so soft and you want to just take it down a notch, instead of going to a finer liquid or a finer pad, throw the Interflex in first and uh, see where it takes you. So we're going to take the Boss. I'm just going to hit this. This is a, you know, a, a Chevelle. It's kind of a show car, if you will. It's got very light in, imperfections. I'm going to use finishing sealant. I'm going to set the speed control to three or four here and just take a look as I, as I work this panel. Watch how the Interflex just allows that pad to contour. So let's take a look at how the Interflex conforms to this, this fender. Take a look. All in all, with the four liquids, our five pads, the Interflex pad, you have 192 options to address virtually every paint finish out there. For more information, check out Griot's Garage backslash boss. Thanks.